something like that. Cubic zirconium, zirconium crusted tweezers. One at a time with a tweezer. I dig it. I'm here with Todd Kraus, the necromancer, if you will, of the custom shop, a man of great powers, and uh, a guitar maker extraordinaire, and this is one of your fine specimens. Tell us about this gloriously gaudy creature. Well, um, I felt the time was right because it's the uh, Fender 60th anniversary, right. and I thought the uh, Zirconia theme would kind of fit in with the, the, the whole kind of vibe of the 60th anniversary. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I have experimented with the crystals. Um, what kind of on crystal? On the guitar. On the guitar. Um, for, for a few customers on pick guards and a few things like that, so. Well, you know, it begs the question, do you own a Bedazzler? No, I don't. Okay. No, no, no. Dude. So it's put on there with some other accoutrement, not the Bedazzler itself. It's it's a tweezer. Okay, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. But um, one of the things that, that I think makes this interesting is, is because of the position I'm in is I got to engineer the guitar to accept the crystals, so to speak. So this bridge is actually sitting on the wood. It's not sitting on top of the crystals and the crystals aren't just glued up to the bridge as well as the plate. Um, you can see here on the edge where there, there's, there's actually a channel routed. So they're not standing proud and, and the, the dimensions of the guitar have not been changed. And um, it kind of made it, you know, to me, it, a little bit more of a game rather than just taking a guitar and gluing something onto them. Not to not to discredit people that do that because I've seen some really amazing pieces. Uh, it was you know it was a, an interesting journey. Um, it's like staring into the afterlife. It is, and and, and some of those crystals were, were very stubborn. Um, you know, you, it, it takes a certain amount of, of patience when you pick a crystal up with a tweezer and it squirts out, then you pick it up and it lands upside down over here, and then it lands, you know, it's just, there's a little bit of that going on, and you, you just put the music on and, and get yourself a nice cup of coffee and- And have at it. And have at it, and, and several days later, that's what it looks like. Were you tempted to make it your own at the end? Like, you know what, I put all this sweat equity in this damn thing, it's mine! Well, <clears throat> this is a one of a kind piece, and I'm not gonna take orders on this. But not to say that I won't do more in the future. I have some ideas of, of some other things that I wanted to do. Uh, some of them are a little bit more obvious than others. I mean, obviously, you can do patterns. You can do different colors. Uh, there, there's, there's a wide variety. But uh, I don't want to take orders on these because it's you, you really do got to do them when, when you are in the zone The zone for that. It's, it's not something that I would want to have on order but cool. having said that it was it was a nice way to end the year indeed well i'll tell you what at wildwood you know when i'm playing those guitars i get all diggity dog on day when it's master built day and they're creations from yourself and john cruz it is like it's like a little mini vacation they're glorious they sound awesome they play awesome it's just a, you know i have a lot of people who reach out to me on the inner google on internets and they'll say stuff like um you know, I want to get a, you know, what, why is those guitars so expensive? You know, can I find, I bet I could find a Squire, dweedle, 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 you know, and I'm like. Is that I'mAlwaysRight.com? Yeah, well, that's the thing, right? All these inner, inner Google trolls that uh, are all know-it-alls. So be that as it may, so I always respond with, is it possible that, you know, you could find uh, uh, the one in God knows how many Squire guitars that would just resonate and play unbelievably? Well, yes, of course, that's an option, but. Statistically speaking, you get what you pay for. And when I play guitars at various different levels from production line to custom shop to master built, there's definitely a tangible difference. I won't say, you know, okay, well, they're completely better so on and so forth, but there's a magic to the, to the master built stuff that is hard to define, but it's there. It's in the feel, it's in the weight, it's in the way it resonates. Um, to be perfectly honest, I mean, because of who I am and, and having all the friends that I do, is it, several times a year I, I am asked to hot rod a squire, which is, is a really cool thing to do for somebody that's starting out. Sure. But even with the hot rodding and the, and the, the, the uh, buying the aftermarket pickups and doing all that stuff, it still doesn't sound as good. Right. It's, it's just, the, the, it's in the details. Right. I hear the language you speak. And I am a believer in your powers. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Koch here with the Wildwood crew at NAMM 2014 in the Fender booth. I'm with Todd Krause, the necromancer, if you will, the Fender Custom Shop. Thanks so much for stopping by. You are a master. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. We'll talk to you soon. Later, dudes. Adios.